the assassination of Gianni Versace, American crime story. Nice. So that's uh, interesting. Um, it's going to be nine episodes in total, and as you say, it's not as familiar a story as the um, O.J. Simpson trial, which everyone knows the sort of key pivotal moments of. So yeah. that series had that going for it. I remember Versace dying, and I think being assassinated. It was, but it was sort of, I think, certainly in this country, clouded by the fact that two or three weeks later it was the Princess Diana death. So. Well, that's what, sort of. in, in the first episode, didn't he buy a magazine with something about Princess Diana on it? Mm. He was assassinated on the 15th of July and she died towards the end of August. Yeah. And I was talking to Luke about this briefly and he said, famously, um, Elton John sat next to Princess Diana at Versace's funeral and then, they, oh, then right. he play, was playing at her funeral a month later. This starts with the assassination of uh, Versace by um, a young man by the name of Andrew Cunan, Cunan, Cunanan, Cunanan. Yeah, well done. <laughs> well done, I've got You first get this silent scene where he's sort of building up to it. You see Versace waking up in his, like, palatial home uh, with Ricky Martin. And... Um, this guy sort of going across the beach and he's almost like almost drowning, sees something written on a toilet wall and you say, and it ends with him shooting Versace outside his house. And I, then I got we, the impression he was kind of gearing himself up, like he yeah. sort of went to the toilet to throw up because he kind of knew what he yeah. was about to do and sort of thing. And yeah. Then the flashbacks to this character, Andrew, meeting Versace originally and, and Versace not wanting to have a lot to do with him until he says, you know, his parents are from Italy. And, and you get the impression this guy is sort of almost like a professional liar. He re- reminded me a bit of the character that um, Leonardo DiCaprio played in Catch Me If You Can. This sort of person who makes up lies to sort of ingratiate himself in the company oh, okay. he's with. Because then the next day he's with his his flatmate and her boyfriend and saying, oh yeah, I I saw him, didn't know it was him, and, and so he's making up stories to suit who he's with. And then you flash back again to the present day, and the sort of the manhunt begins for the killer, and they get the impression that it is this Andrew, um, and we learn that in the preceding years he's killed several times, and that he's... You know, his his name was already been put out in association with another murder or a couple of other murders. And we get the Versace family coming in to sort of try and sweep up the PR. Uh, Penelope Cruz is there as Donatella Versace. She's sort of the wiggy performance in this. It isn't as wiggy as the O.J. Simpson one, which everyone right. was sort of overacting in. I felt this one was a lot more easier to watch because... There wasn't those sort of hammy performances that Travolta was doing and that um, David, David Schwimmer David was Schwimmer, doing. Yeah. And and Edgar Ramirez here as Versace is very good, very grounded. I mean, I, as you say, we haven't got a perception of what really what Versace was like in our heads. So it's easier, to, I think, to do a performance of Versace than it was for Cuba Gooding Jr. to do O.J. Simpson. Yeah. I think, for me, Donatella Versace is the more recognisable figure. And but, I think Penelope Cruz does a good job in in that respect but the star here for me is Darren Chris who's an actor who was in Glee um, and I think he is really sort of engaging and compelling as this sort of sociopathic character who just has the ability to lie and, and there's some great scenes where he goes to to the opera which Versace I think has, has designed the costumes for and speaks to him afterwards and says you know I'm this great writer and, and I'm going to write this book and one day you know you'll be you know, you can design the costumes for the film version of it. And I just found him very captivating. And I think this, is, to me, is more intriguing because I'm not sure how it ended. I don't know what happened no. to the Andrew character at the end. So this is more intriguing to me because I don't know how it ended. I think this is, a, this is an American crime story that le- less people know, which I think, in a way, helps the writing yes, team, he, Ryan Murphy and I, his I, team. Because and I think the thing is, is because, you know, the, the, the OJ situation... <laughs> Whilst nobody made anything about it, the whole thing was like a soap opera because it was televised. Whereas, obviously, the Gianni Versace thing, as you say, A, got overshadowed in the news, but also wasn't quite that kind of polarising figure 
Uh, mm. uh, or a popular figure that, that OJ was. You know, it's very much yeah. different. Certainly um, not in this country. No. And I, I suppose it didn't have the controversial nature of it, did it, really? It was, I say, just a murder. But it was it was a murder that sort of, you have to sort of peel back the layers to to find out the motive of. Whereas the, the OJ stuff was, you know, he he tried to flee and the yeah, stuff with there, the there Hummer and then... There wasn't really much of an investigation with OJ, no. really, because by the time they'd sort of got round to sort of working out what the police had believed had happened, he was already on the run, and you caught him, and then he was in prison, and then it was the, you know, then it was the trial. So a lot of this, as well, is about uh, you know Versace being gay and and Andrew being this character who it struggles with his sex. He is gay, but struggles with his sexuality. There's I, a scene I did like the where... line. That I, I didn't see much of it, but I did like the line when he was. I think very early when he was talking to his friend who had glasses, and he said. You're the yeah. sort of person that comes out to only gay people, mm. which I thought was a That's very the... telling line about his perception and, 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 as you say, his the way he sort of wanted other people to view him. As you say, the sociopathic way. This is written by um, Tom Rob Smith, who did um, London Spy, um, and he is actually the partner in, in real life of uh, Ben Stevenson, the former head of uh, BBC Drama. So there's a oh, okay. there's something for you there, fat fans. But no, I mean I enjoyed this. Whether I'll if it pops up on BBC Two, then I might sort of continue with it again. But OJ, I never finished watching. I think I watched about two or three of those. But oh. I think for me there, it was. The stuff with the Kardashians, with David Schwimmer, and then the stuff with John Travolta. Because uh, in that, you had that really good performance from Sarah Paulson here, I think. Yeah. W- if it focuses primarily on Darren Chris playing Andrew, who I think is a fantastic actor, and this is exactly the role for him. What was your issue with this? I, I think the problem with this is that I just didn't know enough about if I wanted to. And I think the other problem was showing the murder meant, okay, well, I know he did it, so what's, what's the rest of the story? You know, and it's like... So that's- I, and I know, and so so for me, my with my more kind of drama head on, I was like, "Where's the investigation? Where's all this going?" And I suppose yeah, but surely that's the intrigue of it. It's more the motive than the well, who. It's not a who done it. It's it's a why done it because you don't. No, this is, I, it's peeling back the layers of the character, seeing his relationship with Sarchi, and building up to why did he commit this murder? And also in the interim, what else has he done? Because we find out he's been he's wanted by the FBI for all these other murders. So who else has I, he I, killed? I didn't get to those parts. So maybe, yeah. but I just think as well when it it comes to Ryan Murphy, there is a different style. And yes, I agree. If you, if you don't like it, and I'm not saying I don't like it, but I can see why some people do. I think I think he's a bit marmite. I think mm. I can see why he gets a lot of love for the stuff he does, and also a lot of people saying they don't like it. I I can kind of see it. I mean, I mean, I didn't watch all the feud, but I did enjoy mm. the premise. I uh, stuck with feud, um, and I liked. The, the first half of you, but then it seemed to just drag on. This this didn't sort of hook me enough to continue with it, you know, what? finding copies online and things like that, but if it pops up on BBC Two and it's on, like, on a weekly basis, then I might catch yeah, up with I, it again. And it's only it's only nine episodes, so he's I obviously got... I wouldn't be surprised if they did the thing that they're, they're popularising at the moment, which is maybe they put it all on the iPlayer and then drip feed it each week on BBC Two. Yeah, to maybe, people, maybe. To see whether people might, you know, binge watch it. But you're not going to bother with it at all, if, no. even if it pops up on there, there is a too. fair bit of controversy around this as well, because when it, when it aired in the States first, there is still, there's obviously still something going on, because the Versace family were very upset by some of the dramatisation. Because don't forget, a, a bit like the OJ one, this is an interpretation by somebody of, based on the facts of what happened. Yeah. So there is, there's been some sort of kickback, I assume, from Donna Teller. Although, no, is she, she alive anymore? Yes. Yes. There's been some, some sort of drawback <laughs> from, from the, her. To suck, yeah, yeah, my fashion knowledge, not good. And, and, you know, and I mean, that was the same. Some people complained about the way the things were done in the OJ one. I believe some actors even complained about the feud, didn't they? Didn't Olivia de Havilland's family say that was an unfair yes. interpretation? Well, no, Olivia de Havilland herself said that. But, yeah, yeah it was the um, the family of the, 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 the man who was murdered with Nicole. Right, her her lover. I think his family. Yeah, um, that's right. The wrong, the wrong out of the OJ. family. Yeah, and I, think, yeah, that's and it. I know that I know that Ryan Murphy has already said that he's going to be working on a, a Charles and Diana for Feud series two. Mm. So and he's know, announced Hurricane Katrina is the basis for American Crime Story three. Yeah, this is more 
I suppose, of an intimate story, disco- you know, looking behind the brain of this sociopath, Andrew, who we don't know that much about. It's it's more about getting to know the killer, I suppose, and the motives behind it. And, and it's a different story from the OJ. If you're expecting another no, thing I, I, similar I, I to the OJ the, story... I, I suppose the thing is... I, I, and this is going to sound a little bit... I just don't care enough about Gianna Versace's death to worry okay, about it. that's fine. I, I suppose that's really it, if I'm yeah. going to be you know, honest. And as I say, I am not the world's huge... I've watched some... I've liked some things that Ryan Murphy has done, mm. but things like American Horror Story have... have yeah, I've, that's never appealed to me. And, you know, when you compare that to, like, Glee, you know, he is mm. so different in what he does. And um, Nip Tuck as well. Yeah, so... I don't think they kind of, like, did enough for me to say that this okay. was America. I think it did say Miami Beach 1997 right at yeah, the beginning. Yeah, but, but okay. equally wasn't he talking in... He was talking to people in Italian as well, in my defence. Yes, because he's Italian. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so there you are. They could have, <laughs> you know. And they have American tourists in Italy, I assume. <laughs> OK. I'll let you off. I, I, I get what you're saying there. OK, but no. Oh. Did you watch the American Crime Story, Versace, which, which oh, has yes. found the UK on BBC yes, Two? Yes, BBC Two, Wednesday nights. Me and Gary reviewed this when it started in the States, so that would have been, what, about a month ago or so? Yeah, more than that a bit, I think, yeah. So it's it's made its way to BBC Two, and Luke has uh, watched it and his his, the, his his views. I You know, I don't know whether, because you, you were positive, not again, similar to Good Girls, mm. not positive enough to carry on, but positive. Gary got wound up. In a, in a way that I've never heard him before. But I struggled with season one, which was the OJ, because it was just too camp, just too out there. Wiki. It felt like, just felt like John Travolta was in a different show to Sarah Paulson, and I thought she was good. And OJ Simpson himself, a.k.a. Did, Cuba did, Gooding Judah, was really good. But then it was, he had David Swimmer. It was awful, so it just didn't work for me. That was a show with tone all over the place. Mm. This version... I feel like we know less about and I think unlike Gary that makes it a more interesting show to me than something I know all yeah, about agreed. because I because I can I didn't just watch it as a um, compelling TV drama and I thought Darren Chris was a bit of a revelation yeah I, I agree I found him really compelling and it did do my pet hate of swishing back and forwards and things but I just I really enjoyed it, and I'm going to keep up with it. I think they had is... to do it that way, though. Yeah. I think uh, yeah. to tell the story. I think if you'd done it linearly, it wouldn't have worked because you would have taken had... too long to get there yeah. as well. Probably. Because the OJ thing is it was about you know the trial and everything like that, which was the famous thing, and the did he do it? You know, what, all the evidence and things like this. The Versace thing is more. We know he. We know this guy did it. It's all about the motivations behind it and mm. sort of exploring that in reverse. Andrew Conan is the name of yeah. the character. In flashbacks um, while yeah. and looking also at the investigation. taking out the Versace element and the sort of celebrity element, him as a character was really interesting and the fact we know he's killed before mm. and he, I just found him really narcissistic but not in a way that I so didn't want to spend time with him. It was fascinating mm. and uh, this is something I will keep up with and could end up as one of my notables. I might, try, I might try and keep up with this rather. If I'm going to prioritise something, I might prioritise this because I've heard other people praising it as well. Um, yes. Of yeah. like just general podcasts that I listen to. Mm. So it might be one that we might talk about again if I sort of keep up with it. 